Hey guys, this is Seth here with a pretty big video. Um, I'm sure you guys have already <coughs> excuse me, found out about the HSC Nintendothon that is currently uh, planned to start this coming Sunday, August 2nd, at 2 p.m., approximately 2 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 7 p.m. UK Time. That, well, you probably, like I said, know about, knew about that already, but you probably didn't know was the uh, list of the schedule because we now have a schedule and could probably talk to you guys about it. So then, um, we have a schedule now. I pretty much know, you probably know what Brain Scratch is going to be doing, what Hellfire Comp is going to be doing, uh, which eight, what H. Paul is going to be doing, what Sonic Stadium is going to be doing, because Hero Legend from Sonic Stadium is going to be joining us. Um, and of course I'll be there. But as I said, you guys probably don't know what I'll be doing there. Uh, I did. I think I did include a little teaser hints that I dropped in the last video, but now it's time to get down to the uh, nitty gritty and explain exactly everything I'm going to be doing. Well, almost everything that I'll be doing for the Nintendo Thon. So, like last year, if you guys recall, there was the Sonic Thon, and it ended up being a pretty damn huge success, bigger than I think any of us anticipated. And now this year at the Nintendo Thon, we've upped the ante and we're going even more. Uh, we're even more ambitious than we were last year. So, day one, there won't be anything from me on day one, although things can change. You know, last year with the Sonicathon, you know, there were games I played that I didn't initially end up playing, uh, plan to play. There were co-commentaries that I ended up joining in for that I didn't anticipate I'd co-commentate for. Things can change. However, um, game list co-commentary list. Day 2 is actually when I will be making my debut with, you know, co-commentary and games for the Sonic uh, Nintendo-thon. Which is August 3rd. That's going to be day 2. At 2 p.m., approximately 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, I will be doing co-commentary with MBM, Mexican Bass Monkey, uh, for Donkey Kong 94. Note, it is not the original Donkey Kong or Mario vs. Donkey Kong, although the game is very much like the latter. It is going to be the Donkey Kong Game Boy uh, quote-unquote prequel to Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Um, that will be played on day two to kick things off. That day off. Afterwards, two hours later, I will be doing Ice Climber. That's right. I will be doing Ice Climber at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's around that. Note that these times aren't final either because they were all based on estimated times so we predict and estimate it will take for us to finish the game um, pretty much um, but the next game after that will be Ice Climber at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time approximately 9 p.m. UK Time um, following that well to be first if you're curious about who will be my co-commentator for that that will be TJ um, who's, who's uh, going to be uh, helping out pretty much a friend of Gareth's and of FTCR and all, so looking forward to to that. Uh, Star Fox 64 is going to be following that uh, an hour and a half later at 5:30 p.m. Eastern Time, approximately, which is 10 p.m. and 10:30 p.m. UK time, and that will be with Tom. So that will be the first Donnie Tom pair up of the marathon. I'm sure you guys remember last year with the Sonicathon, there was a pairing up for you know games like Sonic Chronicles and Sonic and the Secret Rings. Well, the Donnie Tom pairing is going to be happening again um, on day two. To, uh, close out my involvement with day two anyway. Planned, that is. I, I emphasis planned a lot. Um, day three, I only have one thing that it will be involving with for that. Um, and that was sort of a last minute thing because unfortunately MBM had to kind of bow out from doing certain things. But one of the things he had to bow out in, bow out from, was doing the Donkey Kong Country 1 race. The original Donkey Kong Country, we were planning on doing a race um, at the end of day 3 on August 4th. Unfortunately, as I said, a John and some call me Johnny and MBM, the latter of which had to bow out. That, but considering I'm actually really good with the game, and you guys, those who have been on my channel for a long time, know I even did an LP for this game. Excuse me. Um, 
no, I've ha I am a fan of the game and I've played the original. So it's going to be me and some call me Johnny racing, with Ryan as co-commentator, I guess slash referee. I'm not, sh I, I think someone, I think there's going to be a fourth person doing the uh, uh, streaming. I do recall. I don't know who that will be though. I can't quite recall, but me and John are going to be racing with Ryan as co-commentator uh, co for the Donkey Kong Country 1 race. That, um, again, we don't have an exact time for that, but it's, I believe it's supposed to end the day, I believe. Let me check real quick, So I don't want to get this wrong here. Um, let me find it real quick, because I thought I had all the times written down, but apparently I don't. Okay, it's supposed to kickstart today, rather. So at 2 o'clock p.m., roughly 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 7 o'clock p.m. UK Time, on that day, um, day three will be the Donkey Kong Country race. Now then, I should note, this is, the, events like that are actually pretty frequent, I want to say frequent, in this marathon. It's not like last year, where I don't even think we had much in the way of, uh, um, events, as far as I know. I think we, we had the bit with Sonic Lost World last year, where we went with, uh, between commentators and all, but that was it. Um, there wasn't really much else there. This year, though, we have races. We have tournaments. Tournaments. Uh, we have all sorts of stuff. But, I should, you know, clarify, Donkey Kong Country 1 race is not all that's there. However, the next game that I'll be playing, which will also be taking place at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, approximately, uh, 7 o'clock p.m. UK Time, the following day, on d day 4, which is August 5th, Splatoon. I will be doing co-commentary with Splatoon. And I do think people who saw the Sonicathon last year will be pleased to know what this pairing is. Ted is going to be playing Splatoon, and I will be doing co-commentary. Yes, that's right. The Ted Donnie pairing up from last year that I almost want to say became quite infamous <laughs> because of a certain rant. Uh, that pair, the Ton Donnie, well, the Ted and Donnie pairing returns again for the Splatoon single player LP. We will be doing multiplayer if there is enough time. By the way, if we finish, if Ted finishes early, which I think is very possible. Uh, if he does finish early, we will play some multiplayer kind of, um, you know, pass the time. Um, but yep, Ted and I are going to be doing another game run in a charity stream for you guys. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. I know I am. That's going to be a doozy. But something that I'm particularly... I want to... I'm nervous about this one because this game could very well be the worst run in the marathon, just solely because of how difficult it is. Um, day 5, on August 6th, I, at 4 o'clock p.m., approximately 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 9 o'clock p.m. UK Time, I will be playing the original Punch-Out! with uh, Some call me Johnny's uh, co-commentator. The original Punch-Out! <laughs> oh boy. Not gonna be easy. But, I'm hoping that all goes well with that. After that, uh, day 6, August 7th, same time that day, day 6, I will be co-commentating on Super Mario World. Oh yeah. And I believe that was supposed to be with either Volk or Snake. Um, let me check real quick. I should probably just go ahead and keep things on hand at this rate. Um, I can confirm that it was Volk. Okay. So, me and, so Volk and I are also going to be returning for our own little commentary as well. It won't be the last time I'm going to be with Volk for something. So if you guys liked how we were during the uh, Sp uh, Splatoon stream, uh, then I think you guys will like how we were going to be doing with Super Mario World during the Nintendo-thon. Now, after that, on day 9, I returned to doing multiple things a day again. Uh, August 10th, day 9, this is past the halfway point now. Um, I will be doing a game that originally I wasn't going to be doing until within the past week, 
after we had to do some rearranging and dumping of games and stuff like that, I will be playing, and this is going to be pretty much the obscure game of the, uh, like last year's Sonic Pocket Adventure ended up being the run, a run I had dur did during the, the period of the uh, Sonicathon, where it was kind of obscure. This year, my obscure game run is going to be MC Kids on the NES, and it's a platformer game, a very strange platformer game, but a platformer game nonetheless, and it was only on the NES that it was released on. So, that will happen, and it will also be the first of the quote-unquote Sonic pair-up. Uh, I'll be doing that like two more times after that with Hero Legend of Sonic Stadium. And then, later that night, uh, I will be co-commentating on Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 with, well, Snake. And, and Hero Legend, apparently. Um, I forgot that there's going to be a... Uh, I should probably fix that, actually. I forgot that we did a little bit of adjusting there, too. Hero Legend is actually... Um, the person that... Um, keeping uh, to keep in mind. Because I think we were both going to be co-commentating on that. I can't recall why, though. Oh, well. Uh, then on day 11, 11th, <laughs> day 11, uh, August 12th, at approximately 10 p.m. Eastern, this is going to be the latest run I have during the marathon, 10 p.m. Eastern time, that's 3 p.m. UK time, and again I'll be doing this with Hero Legend as co-commentator, but I will be playing Yoshi's Island, or Trihexa Game, depending on your preference. Seriously though, <laughs> I'll be playing Yoshi's Island at 10 p.m. Um, Eastern Time. It's going to be a crazy, crazy game. <laughs> oh boy. And it's another game that I have grew up with. I don't think I'm going to 100% it. Um, it'll probably be an any percent run. I'm thinking about doing like a little incentive for that, along with a couple of other games I'll get to in a moment. But we'll see. Um, other than that, Day 13... I, this is another couple days later, will be a pinball block. Uh, if you guys thought I wasn't going to be doing pinball for the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Thon, you're mistaken, because I'm going to be doing not one, but two pinball games. One right after the other. The first one was Volk, and the second one was Neo, as, as co-commentators. And this is August 14th, and the pinball block starts at, at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, on that day, August 14th, as I said. And it'll be Mario Pinball Land, and then Kirby Pinball Land. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope you guys like pinball. Uh, day 15, another two days pass, August 16th. I will be doing Super Mario 64 at approximately 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, 9 o'clock p.m. UK Time with Gareth. So if you guys want that classic Shut Up Donnie commentary, you know, that's going to be that's gonna be the run for you. That or if you just want, uh, you know, Power Stars. Then afterwards, I will be doing co-commentary uh, with John for... Uh, his run for his run of Super Metroid a few hours later and then afterwards will be a Smash tournament that's right we're going to be playing Sna Super Smash Brothers for Wii U a tournament for that because by then the tournament mode will be up and that'll be at approximately 9pm Eastern Time 2pm UK Time it's going to be another late nighter I don't expect to stay up late for that because, well, I don't expect to be good at that tournament. But either way, um, there's also a Mario Kart 8 tournament before people ask. No, I'm not going to be in that tournament. Why? Because it's Mario Kart, and I hate that game. I, And not just the fact that I hate that game, but I'm sure people hate it when I play that game. So, you know, because of my commentary. So, either way not playing Mario Kart 8. They've already filled up all the seats anyway, so... A little skin off my bones. So, with that in mind, um, that is pretty much it. There are going to be donation incentive games as well. I can't confirm that there will be another donation incentive block following the marathon, but I'm not going to say what they are. I know what they are, and oh my god, are some of these games, like the list of games we have, is going to be insane. That's all I'm going to say. You will not find out until the Nintendo Thon actually begins. Um, I will go. I will likely do a tweet 
you know, when we actually make the announcement of the donation center game during the marathon, I will list, uh, I'll probably make up a um, list and then post a picture of that and then say, all right, guys, this is our list of donation center games and who would be playing them and who would be co-commentating, et cetera, et cetera. I, I think about doing that once the games are announced, but I'm not going to say what the games are yet. Uh, or anything like that. All I'm going to say is there are donation center games like last year. There will be a block form. And stay tuned because you'll find out more during the Nintendo Thon. Because oh boy, the Nintendo Thon is going to be a doozy. All sorts of franchises are being um, represented. All sorts of websites are being represented. Like I said, there's Hellfire Comms, there's Brain Scratch Comms, there's technically TCC slash Sonic Paradox on my part, there's Sonic Stadium, there's FTCR, you know, there's all sorts of uh, sites being represented here. It's a lot, the, if you thought the Sonicathon was ambitious, you haven't seen nothing yet. This is going to be a crazy two weeks and I can't wait for you to, for you guys to watch and stick around and donate to, for a good cause. But if you cannot donate, not to worry. Guess what? There's always no, there, there's always spreading the word, promoting the stream. You can do that too. Any help is always really encouraged. You know, get the word out there. I'm all for it. But with that in mind, oh boy, I, I'm just nervous thinking about all the stuff I have to contend with here. <laughs> it's a lot of games you, that requires practicing. A lot of games that requires you know getting the hang of. It's going to be a doozy, and I do hope you guys are excited. It's going to be a lovely one. But for now, I will see you guys on August 2nd, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, August 2nd, to August 16th is the Nintendo Thon. And before people are asking, yes, the Sonic Hacking Contest is still happening, like last year. Unfortunately, though, it got pushed to September this time because of uh, technical delays because the website hasn't it's been taking a long time getting the website up website up and they haven't had the time so the Sonic Hacking Contest will be happening after the Nintendo Thon like it did after the Sonicathon last year however it's going to be an extra month this time before it happens compared to last year where it happened like a week near days afterwards um, but because the Sonic Hacking Contest has been pushed back a month it means I can focus entirely on the Nintendo Thon this time so you will be seeing me through the duration of it and if not on the stream, either playing a game or co-commentating, you will be seeing me in the chat. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys for the Nintendo Thon. Expect lots of tweets, expect lots of messages, and expect lots of Nintendo games. And probably collecting coins. But with that in mind, this is signing out. See you in August. Sign R, guys.